What's up you guys, my name is Alex, welcome back to a brand new video and in this tutorial guys I'm going to show you guys exactly how to make the rise room transition because everyone has been requesting, first of all, everyone has been requesting a part 3 and first of all guys, I want to mention that the first and the second video, part 1 and part 2 blew up like crazy so I thought there's no other way around it, the support is that strong so I thought let's make a part 3 where I'm going to show you guys exactly how to create those awesome zoom transitions like this one and then all of a sudden I'm standing in the kitchen in the vlogging modus so let's go back to the the couch with this awesome transition. So I hope you guys are ready for this video. Make sure to smash the like button down below and also the subscribe button down below for more videos as always every single day except on Saturday and Sunday and I would say let's freaking start. Alright guys welcome back to a new video and in this video I'm gonna show you guys in this part 3 video I'm gonna show you guys the awesome transition that Risegum uses in his videos but first of all guys to I know that I will get questions about the intro like how I did it with the cinematic how I was flying over the couch how I was uh, able to uh, apply all the effects on and how to make uh, the zoom the transition as you can see this one What's up you guys, my name is Alex, welcome back to a brand new video and in this tutorial guys I'm going to show you guys exactly how to make the rise room transition because everyone has been requesting, first of all, everyone has been requesting a part 3 and first of all guys, I want to mention that the first and the second video, part 1 and part 2 blew up like crazy so I thought there's no other way around it, the support is that strong so I thought let's make a part 3 where I'm going to show you guys exactly how to create those awesome zoom transitions like this one and then all of a sudden I'm standing in the kitchen in the vlogging modus so let's go back to the couch with this awesome transition. So I hope you guys are ready for this video make sure to smash the like button down below and also the subscribe button down below for more videos as always every single day except on Saturday and Sunday and I would say let's get freaking start. And I will show you guys the project first it is going to be just a minute and then we'll move on to the actual uh, rise gum transition so in order to answer all your questions how I did I'm just gonna run through the project uh, of the editing so as you can see right now this is just me uh, jumping onto the couch as you can see right here and that is just basically a raw clip I, I edited it and then I just added some nice uh, cinematic filters on it and then for the colors as you can see I just looped the part where I was jumping over the couch and for every part as you can see uh, I added a new color. This is red, this is blue, this is yellow, this is uh, green, this is pink, this is orange. I went back to uh, yellow and blue and the last one is all kinds of colors, um, you know, blended together. So this is basically how I did it. I just cut away, well, I just looped a really small part as you can see and that's how it's looking when I'm jumping over the couch. Then when I'm sitting into the uh, living room talking to you the, to the camera, I just applied some color correction as you can see this one and some light rays so that is basically how i come to create the cinematic effect and th this is just basically uh, me um like talking into the camera and then everyone is wondering how i made this effect like how to make uh, the comment move well first of all what i did is i just added the sound effect of an explosion i just added a i'll just mute this one i just added a simple explosion uh, that I removed the back bl the black background of as you can see this one then I just added a, a screenshot of the video of rise gum part one as you can see and I just went once and go ahead play some keyframes and move around this part so it just goes and it bounces across the screen so nothing too special and too complicated about that as you can see and I'm just going to show you guys exactly how I made this transition as you can see that rise gum uses as well so that's because that's the entire purpose of this video so let me close out this project and let me move on to the project where I'm going to show you guys exactly from scratch how I created that transition. So first of all, um, I wanted to make a shout out to the Jens Vlog. He's also a YouTuber and I uh, approached him on Twitter like, yo, can you help me out with this effect? I cannot find any examples. And he managed to explain to me in Twitter DM uh, how to do this. So his link will be in the, in the description down below. So you can check out his channel. So big shout out to him. And now I can go ahead and make a tutorial and, how to, and, make you sh and show you guys how it's done. 
So first of all, what we're going to do is we're going to time where we want the transition to happen. So let's say I'm going to play back this video. And right when I point uh, at the camera, as you can see, I'm just having this blank space. And this is what I'm going to use to uh, create the tra transition. So I'm going to press on S to split, to cut it. Then we're going to go to the... Um, the uh, event pan crop and then what we're gonna do is we're gonna go to the very end and we're gonna make it zoom uh, anywhere you like on the screen so we're gonna place our marker at the very end of the clip uh, the end vlog uh, he uh, advised me to put you seven keyframes but I find it a little bit better to use uh, the end of the clip so what we're gonna do then is we're gonna zoom in all the way until we are really really zoomed in right here as you can see then we're, what we're gonna do is we're gonna turn this a little bit sideways and we're gonna uh, place it to a different uh, location so let me just make it a little bit bigger and let's place it around I would say right here in the corner and this is how it looks so that is basically the first clip and we're gonna do the opposite on the next clip so this is just me standing in the kitchen and as you can see and we're gonna use this small part without audio as well and we're gonna do the total opposite we're gonna start with uh, the zoom really uh, zoomed in as you can see and we're going to choose a different location let me zoom in a little bit more uh, and I'm going to uh, place it right here in the corner and turn it the opposite way as we did before so I'm gonna place it right here as you can see pretty straightforward and now what we're gonna do is we're gonna blend those two together so I'm gonna you know copy those and I'm going to make a uh, crossfade as you can see right here and let me see how it looks So that looks really uh, amazing, but as you can see, we also want to zoom out on the on the kitchen part. So we started with this keyframe in the corner, then we're going to go to the end and we're going to right click and we're going to click restore. That creates a new uh, keyframe. So I'm going to put the quality a little bit less because then the lag is also uh, not that much. So this is basically how I've come to create the uh, rise gum transition that you guys have all asked for. As you can see, it's a little bit laggy, so let me uh, play it once a few more times, as you can see. So this is basically how he does it, and he thinks like, dude, he has also some uh, kind of colors uh, across the screen when he does his transition. Well, what I did is I downloaded an RBG glitch effect, and I just create a new video track, insert video track, and I'm going to drag in that small clip I downloaded from YouTube. As you can see, it is this one. As you can see, this is uh, the glitch effect I downloaded, and I'm going to just use a really small part of it. So I'm going to remove the audio, press Control U, and I'm going to make it uh, really uh, short. I'm going to add in a fade in and a fade out, as you can see right here, and we're going to place that over the transition. So I'm going to put it on the first one. Let me see where it is. Uh, the transition is right here so i'm gonna time it and obviously you won't see anything of the transition what we're gonna do is we're going to go and replace uh this compositing mode and we're gonna put that one to screen so we can see through it so this is basically how it looks So that is how amazing it looks guys and this is how you create transitions just like Ryscam and obviously to spice up the, up, uh, the footage you can also uh, apply some uh, some uh, cinematic effects on as you can see I would say this one looks very cool if I also apply it on this one uh, I'm gonna paint the turquoise glare with letterbox click on add click on ok and this is basically how to do it guys so this is how to create the uh, the let me also apply it on this little clip uh, add in the turquoise glare effect, click on OK. And as you can see, this is how you create the Rise Gum transition uh, that everyone has been requesting on my videos, on the previous Rise Gum videos. So this is also the last part. I'm not going to make a part 4. I made part 1, part 2 and part 3. And part 3 is just to show you how to create those awesome transitions. And obviously the options are endless guys. You can also 
uh, just go ahead and you know place uh, the, those little squares uh, on the opposite uh, side of the screen just like I did and this is how to do it guys so I want to thank you for watching thank you for those uh, support on those three videos about rise gum if you have any tips like how to edit like you know blank let me know in the comments down below so that is it for the video thank you for watching make sure to thank you guys for liking as well and I'll see you guys tomorrow with a brand new Photoshop tutorial as always on Tuesday so I will catch you guys tomorrow just Alex Halford.